Ja, välkommen till Sverige. Vi reagerar idag kör vi en sån här uh, lite rolig spökfilm. Uh, inte för att jag tror på spöken, men jag tycker det är väldigt, väldigt intressant. Så vi ser vad som händer helt enkelt. Scary things caught on camera. Scary people. On and off road rage. In Brazil, a man in a car cuts off a motorcycle rider. Well, the rider doesn't take it so well. He decides to give the driver the finger. And this might be one of the worst mistakes of the motorcycle rider's life. Unbeknownst to him, the driver of the car has had a few drinks and also seems to be completely mentally unstable. As the motorcyclist speeds off, the car begins to maniacally follow him, dangerously weaving in and out of traffic. What? The driver pulls ahead and tries to swerve right Ooh, into the motorcycle. Oh shit, that was a damn alpha. Motorcycle. But the crazy doesn't end there. The motorcycle speeds away, but the man in the car ah, follows. Yeah. Oh yeah, I thought that was the third time. Oh, that's the third time. Yeah, yeah. Finally got rid of the insane driver. Or not. Alltså, var det samma bil som kom tillbaka? Ja, det var det. Men vad fan alltså? Goes over the grass divider on the side of the road just in time and manages to finally escape the deranged driver. But in this quick clip, you can see just how insane the motorist pursuing him was. You can actually see the driver attempt to jump from his car and continue chasing the motorcycle on foot. Luckily, no one was hurt in this scary encounter. Ah, det var ingen som var skadad i alla fall, men vilken sjuk jävla bilförare. Jag skulle också peka finger åt alla. Nej men, nu kör vi igen. Reddit user Remolod2 says that his brother's house is remotely located in the countryside of a small town in Denmark. The house is on an isolated road, surrounded by fields. So technically there shouldn't be many other people around. And there certainly shouldn't be anyone around at nearly 3 a.m. in the morning. In this video, Rimalad 2 claims that his brother's motion-activated security camera captured this image of someone. Hamma människa kan behöva inte vara spek, behöva inte vara någonting som har med övernaturliga att göra. Men jag menar, okej, det är tidigt som fan på morgonen, men spelar ju fan alltså ingen roll. Det behöver inte vara någonting med det att göra. Or something creeping out of an empty field in the middle of the night. Det är 
kan ju vara mycket möjligt en människa. Jag menar, kolla här. Kroppen stämmer överens med människa och benen här. Och det här kan ju vara en filt han har överdraget på nacken liksom. Ja. En löffare, en uteliggare, vad fan som helst. 3 då, då kör vi, vi fortsätter och ser, för jag, jag är inte än, än så länge har jag inte blivit skrämd överhuvudtaget utan jag tycker bara, nej, jag tycker ingenting. UK Urban Explorer Dead Drop explores some abandoned and downright creepy places. Everything from crawling through creepy tunnels to climbing tall rusty structures to build a view from dizzying heights. But... One of his most frightening experiences so far didn't come from scaling hundreds of feet in the air or sliding through cramped spaces. It came from a frightening experience with some very sketchy people. So Dead Drop is exploring the roof of what seems to be an abandoned building, but turns out he's not alone. Det här var ju inte något roligt alls. The men demand that he climb down from the roof, claiming to be the building owners. And this is where things take a truly creepy turn. What's on the ground, the men seem to try to get Dead Drop to go inside the empty building, which he wisely refuses. Hans ögon, alltså, de, de ser fan inte, de var helt svarta. Slår han han? Ja. When Dead Drop refuses to go inside the building, one of these low-rank gangsters decides to smack him in the leg with an iron bar. With that, Dead Drop decides to just get out of there. I'm not going to record yourself, Berglund, am I? No, I don't. I'm sorry. What is it? I'm going to have to eat it. I think it's out. I apologize, all right? Oh, sh**. Yeah. Must have been me, I'll make it. Luckily, Dead Drop was not seriously hurt. But who knows what might have happened if he had went inside that abandoned building? For more creepy urban explorations, check out Dead Drop's YouTube channel. Deconstruction. Då tar vi nummer två på listan. Får se om den här kan skrämma mig. Ingenting har skrämt mig hittills. Visst, det är lite creepy om man blir slagen av en helt okänd man, men jag vet inte. Det är ingenting som är spöjtligt eller eh, någonting sånt. A man named John Manley was working for a construction company. They visually get scared, I think. So, so, so they get spooked. Not yet. 
Big time. Big time. Liverpool, England, doing work on a travel lodge hotel. After several weeks of work were completed, many of the construction workers, including John, say that they were never paid. Well, apparently, if you don't pay John Manley for his construction work, then he does deconstruction work. That would be John driving an excavator. Look! I'm crushing it off and it's a dirty paper. Han ska in dit. Han ska bara in. Vänta nu, det där måste vara en byggnad de håller på att riva så vad fan, det, kan, det behöver inte betyda någonting. Men, men eh, ja, då, befolkningen verkar ju ha tagit illa vid sig. Apparently, John was owed 600 British pounds for his work. Now this whole incident has been heavily debated in the British press. Some call John a working class hero for standing up for himself and his fellow workers against a company that wouldn't pay them. But others say he just took things way too far. So, what do you think? Is John a little scary? Or is he a hero? Let me know down in the comments. The ghost trucks of Clint. Ghost tracks. Okej, okay, nu är det spöken. Nu ska vi få se. Det här är första film nummer ett på listan, så att säga. Så då kör vi. Clinton Road in West Milford, New Jersey has long been said to be home to extreme paranormal activity. Local legends say that the road is haunted by the ghost of a young boy. And that the woods are home to a cult ritual. Fuck it, that. Local legends say that the road is haunted by the ghost of a young boy, and that the woods are home to a cult ritual and activity. But there is one legend about Clinton Road that is stranger than all the others. You see, some motorists claim that while driving on the road late at night. Their car has been closely followed by a mysterious white truck. This bizarre legend goes back many years. I'm back on the road. We're gonna make a left out of here. Okay, let's back on the road. We're gonna do it. Come on! Vad händer? En bil kommer. En bil kommer, ja. Vad är som är läskigt? Jag förstår inte. Vad är det som är läskigt med det här? Fan, det är inte det något dåligt dit, men jag släpper det här ändå. Even today, some still claim to see the mysterious white truck following them on Clinton Road. As YouTuber Your Boy Dave and his friends are driving on Clinton Road late one night, it seems they might not be alone. Oh my God. 
Now it seems very unlikely that there are white, quote, ghost trucks patrolling the road. Track. But it is possible that thugs in a white truck who are familiar with the local legend might be out on the road to intentionally harass late night drivers. And who knows what their other intentions might be. So I'm filing this one under scary people. Scary people, you all know so, some ghost track. Oh. Be surprised. In this TikTok video, Catherine Goodwin was taking video with her friends as they were hanging out at a club. They catch something very odd. <laughs> Det med det, men det var ju här. Fotoshoppat. Så ser det ghost då? Nej, det där är ingen jävla ghost. Det är ett jävla fotoshopp. En kamera är just en väldigt pall person som accidentally photobombar sin skott. Du decide. Thanks for watching submit. Ja, jag säger tack för att du tittar. Tumma upp klippet om du vill se mer, sedan reagera.